What's up, guys? I'm just thinking how fucked everything is, guys. Fuck the world. Guys, I think the TV might be one of the worst inventions ever for the minds of men, guys. It's one of the worst inventions ever because it's literally brainwashed people <laughs> into aiding their own destruction. Everything we do is aiding in our destruction, both physically and the world. If we're eating meat, if we're eating meat and dairy, we're we're contributing to fucking the world over and poisoning our body. You know what I mean? Uh, the, and everything we buy is probably made with with non-sustainable materials, and pull, the factories pollute the fucking worlds. Everything. We're aiding. We're, we're they they brass from saying TV's brainwashed us. They're like, oh, you gotta buy this, you gotta buy this, and it's all for uh, for excess and luxury, guys. Fuck, fuck, fuck luxury, fuck, fuck extravagance, guys. Any celebrities you see driving around, you know, with ten, twenty million dollar houses, they don't give a fuck about you. Zero. They give zero fucks about you. You kidding me? They know how bad stuff is. Why do you need a twelve million dollar house? Barack Obama just bought a twelve million dollar house. You think he gives a fuck? You don't give a fuck. <laughs> He knows exactly how bad things are. Why? Why would you need a? It's luxury and extravagance. It's a disease, guys. Everybody's, everybody's, brainwashed from the fucking TV. Everybody's watching this show all day, and we buy, we aid in our own destruction. We're destroying ourselves. They've literally worked the system where they've convinced us that we're stuck in the system to destroy ourselves, <laughs> and that's then that's how we have to live because we don't know how to live any different. You know what I mean? That's why you gotta start. I'm, that's why I'm starting an ill-ass farm, guys. I'm gonna start growing as much of my own food as I can. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm just, and the that's the goal, guys. Obviously, for all of us, we we're all stuck in this. We're all stuck in this shit. Is is to it is to find ways to, to 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 take ourselves back. You know what I mean? Take our lives back. Grow. You know, grow. Try to grow your own food. Try to you know restore, recycle, and and, and reuse stuff. Buy you stuff, that kind of stuff. We all got to get in that habit, guys. Stop buying shit on Amazon. You know why? Because Jeff Bezos doesn't give a fuck about you or the world or anything, guys. You know what I mean? He has, what, probably 200 billion by now, guys? He doesn't give a fuck, guys. One billion is a million millions, okay? So you never need more than that. Any, nobody ever in how many lifetimes. doesn't matter. Because, you know what I mean? If you can invest, you only need a few million to invest, if really, if, you, if that was your goal. And, and he's just straight hoarding that money. You think the prices of shit couldn't be better? Everything could be better if people didn't. If I could take one thing, this is just a quick rant, guys. If I could take one thing away from this world that I think, well, I mean, there's many things, but in my opinion, if I could take one thing away from the world that would be something positive, it would be greed from the minds of men and women, guys. Think about it. You take that away if everybody only takes what they need and everything else to take care of. There'd be no need for for the heinous destruction of the earth for endless profits and they would be like because they wouldn't be greedy you know what I mean and there'd be no need for any of this bullshit the prices everything would be dirt cheap everybody would have what they need and everybody would be taken care of but no greed comes in power and greed guys that's it but alright guys listen stay positive have a great day have a great I, got, I hope you guys have a really great day Dude, listen, if you work with negative people, everybody works with negative people, guys. Let it bounce right off you guys. Be like the duck in the water, guys. It doesn't matter. You know, they're have, it's, they're, the reason they're negative is because they it's a projection of their own lives. They have that anger in their own lives. It's not you. It has nothing to do with you. If you stay positive, if you're doing the right thing and you, you, you're being good, you know, being respectful to everybody, always be respectful. It doesn't matter who it is, guys. I, I, I am always mindful that I'm respectful of everybody, everybody, because it's, it is, it's, because uh, everybody else is rude. That's just how the world is now, too. People just normalize being rude and disrespectful. So, anyway, guys, let that negative shit bounce off. Who cares? You know, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> you just, just focus on your goals, focus on your dreams, and, and how you're working every day to change that. That's what I'm trying to do. This, for, this, is, this, is, what, this is what I'm trying to do, guys. You know what I mean? We're just trying to, live our ideal lives oh, we're all working toward it somehow in some way keep doing that guys don't don't you know a lot of days are going to be hard a lot of days but it'll be, some are easy some are hard a lot most of them are, most of them probably suck you know what I mean? if you're if you're working and you'd rather be doing something else just just set yourself a goal and is and just keep your keep focused on that and remind yourself of that every day like yeah that's all right this doesn't matter i'll get through it we'll, we'll be fine we'll get over it and we're gonna go we'll hammer on our goal hard as we can guys you know what I mean, guys? Guys, you know what I mean? Guys, if you think about it, Popeye was pretty cool because <clears throat> he had big forearms. But, like, oh, man, I bet he, he would win some arm wrestling contests. Like, nobody's business, guys. He would just be like, blah, 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 blah. 
Dude, who, no one would even... You'd be stupid to even face Popeye. You know you're going to lose. So you can either not face him, and nobody will really know who you are, or you could arm wrestle Popeye, and people will only know as one of the guys that fucking lost to Popeye because he, he, he thought he could beat him because he's an idiot. You know what I mean? I don't want to be known as that guy. Do you want to be known as that guy or girl? I mean, unless there's... There, I'm sure there could be someone out there with bigger forearms than Popeye. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be better arm wrestling guys. you got to practice that shit. Just look at anything. You guys me. You guys want to be the number one arm wrestler in the world? Just practice it every day, guys. Whatever you do, you just got to increase the time you practice and put the time into it, guys. Whatever it is. That's, not, that's all it is. Your dreams. Just be like, all right, what do I want to do? What do I really want to do? What, not what job you're doing now if you don't really want to do it. Uh, really, it doesn't matter. Don't forget money, guys. It just you know, it'll it'll get taken care of. The universe will take care of you, guys. We'll fucking as long as you keep the job, you keep your head up. You know what I mean? But just start slowly every day. Work on your whatever your dream of what you want to do with your time is, and how you can make a living off that. That's it. That's the goal. To escape the rat race, I want to. Run away in a field of daisies. Oh, I want to play frisbee on the lawn. I want to go for a swim in the ocean. And I want to watch the sun set at dawn. Have a great day, guys.